It's the 18th of December, which means Qatar National Day is here. Doha puts forward a new truce proposal between Hamas and Israel. And finally, the Israeli forces have attacked a maternity ward in a Gazan hospital. Stick around for more. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. The 18th of December means only one thing in Qatar, its very own National Day. But this year, there were no official National Day celebrations on show due to Doha showing solidarity with the people of Gaza and in respect of the passing of Kuwait's Emir earlier this week. The Gulf state, however, has planned hundreds of activities across the nation, with National Day themed shows, kids' playgrounds, and outdoor venues all dishing out the fun. Also on the occasion of the National Day, Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has pardoned a number of prisoners in Qatari jails by the Emiri order. Now, talks are once again underway between Hamas and Israel through Qatar in a bid to achieve a truce deal that may see the release of more captives and Palestinian detainees and give Palestinians in Gaza some respite. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs have released a statement confirming the talks. Israel has ramped up its relentless and indiscriminate military assault on Gaza since Mossad negotiators left Doha after an agreement with Hamas couldn't be reached a few weeks ago. And finally, Israeli forces took their aggression up another step by launching a shocking attack on a maternity ward in the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis. The horrific attack killed a young Palestinian girl who was already being treated in the ward for injuries suffered by a previous Israeli Israeli attack. The Palestinian Health Ministry spokesperson said that had the shelling of the Israeli bomb fully penetrated through the wall, there would have been a new massacre against women and children. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.